Hi, welcome to the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and uh, this is my shack. And in the background here, we have the X6100, the Saigu X6100. And as you've probably seen, there's a new alternative firmware that's come out for it. And uh, as everyone else does, I'm going to take a little bit of a look at it and see how it works. I've been testing it a little bit now, so uh, let's go over to the radio and uh, do a little bit of a walkthrough on it. So we got the radio with the alternative firmware here. And I'll zoom into the display. And first of all, uh, most things seem to be working except for the AGC. That's not working. You got to turn it off to get any audio out. I'll I'll find a find a spot here with something and demonstrate for you. And as you can see, the waterfall is a little bit slow to update, but then again, it looks fantastic. And uh, so let's uh, turn it on and uh, do the AGC demonstration. So AGC is now off. AGC is now slow. There's no audio coming out. AGC is fast. No audio coming out. AGC auto. No audio coming out. AGC off and we got audio back. Also, it's really nice that you get what part of the band you're in when you scroll up and down the waterfall. Let's just change bands here and see. Let's change it to 20. And uh, just going to turn the ADU off. And the, the auto tuner works, so that's good. You can see here we're in the CW part of the band. And let's see here. You can adjust the frequency steps up here on the uh, fast button. Let's just do it a little bit slow and get up to the SSB portion here. And see if there's anything going on on 20 meters. So it works and the interface is pretty much you press the uh, function button here on the bottom left and you can scroll through all the options. So it's, it's pretty simple. It's got a lot of potential. Looks beautiful, although it looks like something out of a Commodore 64 or an Amiga. So if you're old enough to remember that, that's probably what you're thinking when you see this. But um, it's got some potential and I kind of like it. So this is pretty much what it looks like. And um, I'm just going to cut and show you some recordings I did of a QSO earlier today. So you can see what it looks like when I had a QSO. I got some uh, reports that my modulation wasn't really good. That might be because it's only 10 watts out. So let's see those and uh, cut back and uh, draw some conclusions. Så 
CQ Halden, CQ Halden, CQ Halden, LB0 Fox India kaller CQ Halden, LB0 Fox India QRP kaller CQ Halden. Ja, LB4 Elite var det. Jeg hører deg litt svakt, kanskje litt dårlig motivasjon, men du kommer inn på 9 på 1 meter, Morten, LB4 Elite. Ja, hyggelig å høre. Jeg tester alternativ firmware for, uh, for uh, 61.00 her, så det kan nok være det som, uh, som gjør det. And if you think this looks interesting, you can download it from uh, r1cbu.ru. Uh, I'll leave a complete link down in the description for you. And you just write this to a memory card put the memory card in the radio and boot it from the memory card. So you won't overwrite uh, the uh, the original firmware on the radio. So it's, it's pretty safe to try. Although it does get pretty hot uh, when I tested it. It gets alarmingly hot. On the backside, it gets up to um, 40 some degrees Celsius. Um, not enough to burn you, but uh, hot enough that it's uncomfortable to touch. So, um, I'm a little bit skeptical in that sense, but besides that, it's interesting to see that someone takes the time and the effort to write new firmware for this radio and kind of shows the potential of a little Linux based radio like this. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and until next time, 7.3.